Last year we did just over 550 one blocks last year. Just for festivals. Wow. You know, not including private events and things like that that we do. So the block now is, is wet to the touch. You can see that it's, it's a full sweat as we call it. Um, if you look back here, you can see there's a small section here that still is sort of uh, very cold. You can still see the fog here as I wipe it away with my finger. So that is, this, that tells you that, you know, the block is, is, as we refer to it as tempered and ready to be sculpted. Suction to put the paper template on. It'll get wet and sort of suction right to the ice. Just line everything up. Remove the air from behind it. There's certain adjustments that I'll make um, when I'm carving it just because it functions differently on ice than it does in the drawing. So I made some adjustments on some of the different uh, areas around here, but now we just take the paper off. We're left with the ice. I use the chainsaw bar as references. There's certain landmarks on here <laughs> that I will use uh, whenever I'm making my, these are called reference cuts. Um, it gives me consistency and depth so that I know sort of how deep to go and where to stop and so that everything remains consistent. Now I go in with a burr, which will get all the inside curves really smooth and allow me a little bit finer touch as it comes to a tip, a little bit more precise. So ice is a transparent medium. So when we're doing sculptures for display like this at festivals, we have to think about how it's gonna photograph, how people are gonna look at it. People are generally probably not gonna see the back of the sculpture. Mm -hmm. So for the leaf here, I only wanna do the front side of the leaf because if I try to mirror this on the back side, it's not gonna match up perfectly. So what message would you like to say to all the uh, First Night State College folks about this year and how we're doing this, but like looking ahead? Yeah, but we're trying to do everything we can to, uh, to bring ice and some sort of happiness to everybody in these, these uncertain times. Um, we very much look forward to seeing you guys hopefully next year. Um, hopefully, you know, things improve, uh, but you know, everybody need, just needs to stay safe and stay optimistic and you know, we'll get through this together.